think it's time for a highly anticipated second video about the homework assignments. And I like to talk about homework assignment number two, what went well and what didn't go so well in there. Um, what went well um, is obviously the assignment itself. Grades very good, um, and I'm pretty confident now that all of you can solve um, the problem of calculating the force due to pressure on a flat plate. So congratulations for this and on submitting all those assignments. It is still a pleasure uh, working on this with you. However, I also have to talk about the bad things because that's part of the job. And I must say, while the assignments themselves were really good, the quality of the gradings was very low. I did the first uh, casual checks at first and then ended up going through more than half of the assignments overall, um, of the gradings on the, those assignments, and found many problems with the quality of the grading. And those uh, problems were mostly fixed. I contacted many peers uh, individually uh, to discuss the grading and explain what was wrong and to fix it. Um, I think most of the problems were solved. Some peers, however, are uh, no longer in the homework program, and some peers were just disqualified from uh, this homework assignment. I think most of the problems are fixed now. Um, so what went wrong? What is the issue? Well, um, several times. The issue is of three kinds. Um, the first kind of grading problem is when all points are given for the general expression but the general expression is not there it's nowhere written inside the paper and this is a major problem <laughs> uh, second problem is when the general expression is there but contains secret language terms that are nowhere defined inside the paper secret language terms like l2 max z min z max R2, R3, and things like this. Nowhere to find. And nevertheless, the peers uh, give full points to saying that there is a general expression, so it must be fine. And the third kind of problem I see is when uh, the result is wrong and the peers have noticed this, but then the peers just remove arbitrarily a few points in the final rubric uh, without questioning what the source of the problem is without identifying exactly where the error originated. And so I'm not happy about this. Um, the, I think the reason for those problems is that there are two instincts that we follow as peers. And those instincts are first to think that grading, which means identifying the exact problem, splitting uh, the grade into rubrics and giving the right number of points in every rubric, this is a very academic work. Uh, it sounds like the job of a teacher, not the job of an engineer. So why should engineering students partake in this? Um, and I understand that feeling. Second feeling, um, instinct, is to think um, you want to be nice to the peers. Um, I see somebody else's work here. Uh, it's important that they put a lot of effort into this. I don't want to remove too many points from this. I want uh, to not ruin their day, to not ruin their average grade in fluid mechanics. I want to be as nice as possible uh, to encourage them and to be friendly. And my argument is that you need to refrain from following those two instincts. Um, if you don't believe me, um, ask Boeing. Boeing is an airplane manufacturer designed uh, a few years back, the best selling airplane in history, designed, sold it, launched it, and it turned out there's an error in the software on this airplane that makes it plunge into the ground, uh, regardless of the, what the pilots do, in certain circumstances. And so 300 people died, and uh, the whole airplane fleet, billions of dollars worth of airplanes are just grounded. Um, the airplanes is in the uh, airplane manufacturer 
the company is in major financial trouble today. Um, and you have the tragedy of 300 people losing their lives. Why? Not because of an error in the stability software made by probably one or two engineers, but because of the hundreds of other engineers who had the opportunity to cross-check, evaluate, review the work of their peers, and didn't because they were nice to one another. Uh, airplane, airplane engineers at Boeing are buddies. Uh, they're nice to one another. They don't want to hurt their feelings. They don't want to review the work. They don't want to find mistakes. Um, and so this is what happens. And the same level of consequence um, will be present in your work in just a few months when you hit the ground on a power plant or a chemical company. So it is, in fact, uh, the engineer's job to review uh, grades, assess other people's work, to find exactly where the, error are, the errors are and what the nature of the errors are. So I want you to do a better job at this. Uh, you need to be excellent at this job. Uh, it's totally okay if you don't have good grades in fluid mechanics. It's totally okay if the quality of your assignments is not perfect. But you cannot run away from the responsibility you have towards your peers um, to identify problems and grade accordingly, grade severely. Um, it needs to hurt when there are bad mistakes. If the force is off by a factor 10, um, then the window will burst and people will die. And so there needs to be consequences and you need to take this grading job very seriously. Um, not run away from this. If you do, I uh, will find you and I will just yank you out from the homework program. Um, okay, so now that I've gone through this, I can uh, explain what the good things were and try to display, hopefully on the side of the screen here, um, a couple of examples of really good quality work. Uh, let me pause for a second so I can just swap my notes. So we found two really, really good papers uh, really good submissions uh, this time. Um, we thought we would attribute uh, the prize to a peer grader, but in the end, the level of the peer grading was not so good. So we went back to giving the prize to um, for a homework assignment. And um, number two, the runner-up who didn't quite get the prize uh, is Dashan. And Dashan did what is my friend and colleague Johan um, and my own favorite paper. Uh, Dashan's paper is extremely straightforward. It's pretty short. Uh, it's well typed and well illustrated in what is a very basic style. Um, there's not too much to worry about, not too much to look for. Everything you need is there and nothing more. Um, and it would definitely be the best paper if uh, there were probably not two uh, big mistakes in there. One is okay, is uh, taking a cosine instead of a sine somewhere. And the second error is a major error. It is pointing the force uh, in the wrong direction. Uh, so the window is mounted backwards. Uh, it will burst into the boat and uh, the boat will sink. So we just cannot give the best prize, um, best paper prize to Dashan. Unfortunately, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, the best prize goes to Srijit. And Srijit, um, I hope that I'm not mispronouncing your name. Trejith, uh, you did an excellent work uh, detailing the solution very neatly in a way that's really actually better than um, my own solution to the problem. Let's uh, make space for a car. And um, congratulations. Here's for you, as, uh, as discussed before. Woohoo! Before. Uh, 20 euro gutschein from Amazon as a recognition for your excellent job in this assignment. Um, now what to look for in the upcoming assignments. We have two more going uh, in the coming month. In the next assignment I would like you to pay attention to three things. Uh, one is obviously uh, very clear and um, 
very well identified general expressions for the answer. Uh, do not put secret language terms in this general expression, but instead define it entirely based on the input data for the problem. So I do not want any number, I just want the symbols that are given as the input parameters uh, in the answer. Uh, the second thing I would like to see in this upcoming assignment is better diagrams. A lot of you have very nice diagrams that are full of information that we don't need. Um, the window on the side, the angles, beta, um, even the little people that some of you represented again on the diagrams. I don't want to see that. Uh, a good diagram has the minimum amount of information in there. So every symbol that you use should be there and nothing else uh, should be present in there. So make very clear diagrams um, on your upcoming assignments. And the last thing I want uh, to see in upcoming assignments is a very high quality of grading um, from you uh, towards yourselves so that your peers are held up to a very high standard um, and are able to progress and improve their skills to become successful engineers. Um, so this is it. I wish you well and I will see you soon uh, in upcoming videos about food dynamics. Bye-bye.